Welcome back guys, my name is Laura and I'm here to share some practical data solutions. If you haven't figured it out already, today's video is going to be all about the snaps you've lost. The snaps in Snapchat, I mean. Well, I also happen to know a really easy way to recover lost files on computer and phones. So get your devices ready and let's snap to it. But before we get to the instructions, I wanted to take the time and talk about Snapchat a little bit more. Essentially, Snapchat is one of the most popular messaging apps in the world. It allows you to take pictures and videos called snaps and exchange them with your friends within the app. Snapchat introduced pretty unique features like, for example, your snaps disappear once viewed or after a set time frame. It's also packed with filters, lenses and effects to make your snaps more exciting. Quick fun fact. Did you know Snapchat's little ghost logo is actually named Snapchat Chilla and is inspired by an artist called Ghostface Killer of the Wu-Tang Clan? Pretty cool, right? There's one thing that stands out the most for me in Snapchat and that's the self-destruct feature. I know that's not the official name, but basically what Snapchat does, it auto-deletes all your files once they're viewed. The good news is Snapchat photos and videos don't get deleted, like at least not fully. You can still find them on your phone as .no media extension files, but they're invisible and it's absolutely possible to retrieve them later. The recovery method depends entirely on the device or operating system you're using. I'll start off by showing you guys how to recover your lost files on an Android phone and then move on to an iOS device. The good thing is Android is extremely customizable. For every Android phone, regardless of the brand, there's a fixed size cache memory for all the apps you've installed. Each file in your device has its extension saved in your cache, but you won't be seeing all your cache files in your main gallery app because you don't really want to deal with all the duplicates in there. This means all you have to do is navigate to the cache folder in your phone and find all your files there. Let me show you how to do it, it's really easy. Step one is to open any file manager app on your Android phone and have a look at the long list of folders. You'll see one named Android. Open it and inside the folder you'll see a data folder. Open that one too. The step two is depending on the number of apps you have installed on your device, you're going to see several folders. One of them will be named com.snapchat.android. Open the folder and inside you'll find a cache folder. There's just one more folder you have to open to see your photos, I promise. The folder is named received underscore image underscore snaps. Open it and you'll see that the photos end with dot no media. All you have to do is rename the files and voila! Now you can view your photos once more. Most Android phones have an auto sync function and what it does is create a backup of all your photos. I'm gonna take Google Drive as an example and just follow along to get your photos from there. First off, you'll need to sign into your Google account, tap on the recent backups folder or open photos from the drive. It will show you all your photos that were present during the last backup. That means it will also contain the photos that you uploaded on your Snapchat. Select the photos you want to recover and then choose the restore option to recover the photos from your Android device. Snapchat picture recovery is much easier on an iOS device than it is on an Android one. And that's mainly because of the recently deleted photo feature. You can access this feature through the photos application. It's important to remember that you can only recover photos in a 30 day window. So basically you have to act real quick because once the 30 day pass, your photos will be gone for good. Go over the Photos app in your iOS device. Enter Albums and then Recently Deleted. You'll see all the photos there. Just select the ones you want to recover and tap the Recover button. Voila, you're all done! Recoverit is a powerful data recovery software and it comes with a trove of features. You can use it to recover lost photos, 
files, documents, your music, pretty much any type of file that you might have lost along the way via formatting, uh, deletion, or my favorite, errors. And the best thing is, Recover It can also help you with the recovery of your lost Snapchat photos. Here, I'm showing you what to do if you have saved your Snapchat photos to your phone's SD card. Go ahead and connect your SD card to your computer and follow the steps. Step 1. Select the phone SD card. All the devices and drives connected to your system will be right there on the software's home interface the moment you run it. Look for your phone's SD card under the External Devices category and tick it. Then click on the Start button. Step 2. Scan your phone's SD card. The software will initiate the scanning process. All you have to do is wait a bit and let the software search through your phone's SD card for the lost photos. The scan will eventually end and you'll see all the Snapchat photos. If you want to get all of them back, tick a single checkbox at the top, the name checkbox. But if you want to only recover particular ones, look through the list and select the ones you want. Though, I advise you to just select everything because the latter option will be more time consuming and could stress you out a little bit, especially if the photos are a lot. Click the recover button, sit back, relax and let recover it handle the rest. Well, that's all to it, you guys. It was really easy. I always, always rely on recover it when every other method fails. And if you liked the video, give it a big thumbs up and click the subscribe button to help the community grow. We also would love to hear from you. And if you want to leave us a question or some feedback, please do it in the section down below. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Laura and I hope to see you next time. Bye.